five to go. Thousand there, uh, couple down from the boat end. Up there with Bruce Nelson, I think. Bruce to windward. Um, yeah, Vince up that end as well, just below a thousand actually. And Marvin is um, mid midline, 33. Fair way off the line at 33. Um, Marvin is, a thousand, reasonably close, in a good spot actually, 26. So probably building at about 12 there for a thousand. 20 seconds now. Bruce, Bruce a little faster than a thousand, just coming forward. Okay, Marvin coming up to the line, very good. 12. Okay, a thousand bow down at, at uh, 10. It's now seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, mark. Bruce was really close. Like, bang on if not early. No, no, no recall. That looked like he was over. Yeah. So, uh, Bruce definitely bowed forward there on a thousand and a thousand and a twelve twenty-seven. So a thousand's probably going to have to bail shortly. The French are a problem for him though. Madro pin. Ten sixty had a really good start. See a individual flag up. Okay, a thousand out. It's weird, he didn't even come back. So, okay, big, uh, big dip. Vince tax as well. Going to have to do the same dip. The nine oh nines. Yep, so sort of giving Bruce Nelson probably a four or five length uh, head start. Oh, that's all. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Uh, I, I you want to assume they got air clear forward at Bruce. Wouldn't attack there otherwise. Right. And Pat Stadell coming out of the clouds there from yep. the uh, right-hand corner. So probably... Held about the same on Bruce for the leg. There was this, this far behind him after dipping 909 off the line. Yeah. But Marvin's been faster. Yeah, that's it real well out there. Oily bow attack situation on Pat. Yeah, I think Marvin's been was the fastest up the beat. I don't think there was a lot of difference uh, left to right, to be honest with you. Jim Cunningham had a great start at the, uh, at the pit end. Nice set, guys. Very good. Are you sitting there, Mark? I don't know. He may have. No, he's not going to do anything about it. Job guys in the game. Work away from here. That's it. Good. Nice job, Andrew. job you know got a lane there gap in the traffic here just getting out of the mark nicely setting up for a jive possibly soon good some video of the technique
<laughs> Tom's been doing pretty good out yeah. that side the last minute or so. Just out of the traffic a bit too uh, helps. I mean, Bruce is coming back to him now, but they've just been in, uh, had a, a good sort of minute in rhythm with the waves. Okay, so you can overlap here and lead to that mark. Yeah. I don't know if they'll be able to get that far down. No, I don't think so. I think Vince and uh, Bruce have just got a length, length and a half gap on them. You know, it's got to work on being clean out. Fast all the way there, yeah. and then clean out. And Bruce has had a good run, you know, I think. Vince has been the one that's dropped back at a couple of lengths in the, in the pack. Yeah. Vince has been the loser here. Yeah. Yeah, he's sort of in no man's land. He's going to have to go behind two boats no matter what. Yeah. Nice job from the thousand. Sort of see if they can hold that overlap into the mark. Give up, give up. Yeah, yeah. So Jim will have to come this way. Marvin's got op options open. I don't think Jim crosses uh, Bruce. Not, not now, anyway. Vince is sitting on his air, hey? Yeah. This turned out pretty good for Tom here. This yeah, is going to be equal second. equal second at the mark here. It's been a really good run. Okay, so they're jiving, pole away, I'd say. Really nice. Yep, pole's coming really away. Nice. Brilliant. And la last to drop too, you know. Really like that. that. That's a length gain right there. You see that? Yeah, yeah. That last whole length, yeah. 15 seconds. That's been a length gain. I mean, how hard do you work hard for a length up wind? You just got one for free. That's a regatta changing run right there. Heading the way they want to go, or one would assume. Your brother had a good one? Oh, took his kite down 10 minutes ago and oh, right. overlap him. Now oh, Bruce, Bruce in a bad spot. Vince had to tack. Very nice. Good execution. Nice job from Marvin and a thousand. Very nice lap, gentlemen. Okay, a little shoot here. It's a long range ley line. Early on the hoist, it's good. Good, very good. Whoa, very nice. Lovely. Tell your mother. Yeah, good one, guys. Yeah, very nice from a thousand. Jive for the thousand, good, and wide open lane. Vince jives after. What do you reckon? Um, no, I think this is pretty similar to Newport actually. A little more.
more wind, though, it gets bumpier as the wind comes up in Newport. Yeah, a little choppier, yeah, yeah. wind chop. But I think at 14 knots of breeze, this is probably pretty damn similar. Vince and these guys here. Sink. Nice guys. coming down here Uh, no closer mat, just better. Go into a jive here. Marvin's been coming down to both boats, here they jive and they jive. spot there for Tom having to defend. Keep working. 
the boat. Nice. Good job, last 30. Really good job, the last 30 seconds actually. The Vince, Vince Jai did a pretty good time. Made their job pretty tough. Oh, nice wave. Hello. All gains there. Vince trying to sail a soak mode. Um, tough to do. Hey, just wait here, hey Matt, we'll get the finishes. Like eight lengths away, guys. It's not starboard. It's not not Boyer. Now it's Boyer. Come on, go, 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 go. Go. I think they might have got him. Yeah. Well, that's that's justice. That's justice. Okay, one ten to go. Uh, Vince up there, just having tacked, closest to the line. Here comes a thousand. Also, just having tacked on the wind, closing up on the line, a minute to go. Yeah, fleets are, you know, not, not yeah, probably we would expect them to be at a minute. Because Greg uh, tacking over pin end, big Andrew, 43. So 1,000 up there, uh, Marvin just tacks to windward of 1,000. French, Bruce Nelson haven't seen. Okay, 30, really good position there for a thousand. Good gap to leeward. 25, killing. 22, okay, 1066 moving forward. 1817. Bruce is, oh, I still haven't seen him actually. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, a little early guys. 2, 1, Mark. Well hidden. Well hidden. I had mistook you guys for 1066 when I said early, uh, but he pulled his bow down right at the last. So clear start again. I'm a little surprised at that. Bruce is tacked out already. Okay. Bruce on the other tack. So Marvin controls the fleet there, most to windward. And the French below him. And Vinci below 1066. 1066 got a tight lane. Pretty nice looking trim there, Greg. Okay. guys and his potential to pass a couple, you know. Okay. See how Greg's ley line was. Mark. 
Sort of slowed Tom up too, you know. Tunnel. Cost him about three lengths. Like an idiotic thing to do. Yeah. Nice set. Fuck, Greg. I mean, that was just so dark. Andrew Whittam, same story. Yep, he's hit the mark. Badly. Nine oh nine's not going to lay. So cutting them out there in last. Just didn't overlay, you know. Yeah. Wind did go right. Yeah. Um, Marvin only spent about a minute on uh, Port Tack at the end, yeah. whereas after they, after a thousand crossed him, a thousand did about three and a half minutes. Yeah. And Vince sent a thousand, and Bruce Nelson actually overlaid by quite a bit. Yeah. Whoop. Come on, boys. Big legs out. Long jive this side, I think. Pretty, not a great set from Marvin. Hey. Last race, um, 45 to go, 1,000 tacks over, need to work up to the line a little bit, French is most right, 1,000 uh, coming at that spot, Marvin about four down, just here in the foreground, Vince uh, down at the pin. Tacking in now, actually, except Bruce is way late. Way late for Vince is late too. Not going to get there in time. 13. This whole group's late. A thousand coming up to the line. Need to push harder though. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Mark. Okay, Vince on the line. Seven seconds late. Marvin, good start. Bruce. Bruce about eight seconds late. So a thousand a little bit buried there. Attacking now. And uh, who else is that attack? 1281 French. Marvin probably had the best of that start. That's it. Yeah, 
know, look at how wide Bruce is out there, you know. Good, yeah. good set here, you know, already he's take, halved it, so. Yeah, that's four months now. Yeah. No, it's not. Couldn't happen with a nice yeah, place. Yeah, there is, isn't there? Fleet's really closed up. Yep. Tom jived out to go and try and own that mark. Pretty marks are pretty close together. I don't think there's a big deal in terms of being favoured. Oh, pretty late in the drop there, Bruce. There we go. She goes. It's going to be a horrible big, round. horrible rounding out. <laughs> His fluid mark roundings are never back. Holy shit! Wow. I'll leave the door open. Bunch of those. Vince Tack. Thousand pretty late drop. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. on video just in case put it up on the big screen. True. Come on. Man. Sailed better today though. Right yeah. How did he get there? Um, Bruce got tacked over by Jim Cunningham, and um, Bruce went over back left and uh, sort of put one on Tom. Like, but he didn't sort of tack on him. He tacked a bit uh, past his line. He tacked on level 49. Actually. Tight traffic.
probably should move forward and get off the course here, Matt. What's that? We probably should move forward and get off the course. Okay. Vince is not that far away. 